find the z-score satisfying the given condition. I want 20.1% of the total area to the right of z. Now this problem is asking us to work backwards. The table always gives you area to the left and they're asking for area to the right. But the fact that they're asking for the area, that's the number within the body of the table. So what they're asking us for, and here I think a picture is especially useful, is they want to know what value of z, what value of z breaks it into where there's 20.1% of the area to the right of that value of z. Now, keep in mind, the table gives you area to the left, not area to the right, so you can't really use that 20.1 directly. What you have to remember is that there's 100% of the area under the curve, and if 20.1% is to the right, that means that 79.9% of the areas to the left. And that's the value you can actually look up in the table. Of course, you do have to think of it as a decimal. That's 0 0.7990. But you've always got to remember the table gives area to the left. So you can't use this number directly, you have to subtract it from 100%. Okay, once I've got that, I'm home free. I want to find the z-value that corresponds to that area right there in the body of the table. So my strategy is to find the z value corresponding find the z value corresponding to the area which is in the body of the table but I want it to correspond to the area closest to this number right here, 0 0.7990. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to search the table and try to find a value, the z value, that comes closest to 0 0.7990. Okay, let's do that. So I'm just going through the table and I'm searching. I'm looking for 0.7 something, so none of those numbers are even close. So I turn it over, and I've got 0.7, there's a 7.73, um, I'm looking for 0.79, so there's a 7.967, there's a 7.99, 7.939, 7.995. And that goes to 0.8. So it looks like the closest number in this table to 7990 is 7.7995. And you've got to figure out what that corresponds to. And that's easy enough. You reference it back over to the left, and so that's 0.8. And then you go up to the top, so it's 0.84. So 0.7995 gives you a z value of 0.8. So the answer to the question, that z value is as close as I can get it to using that table, 0.84. That's the z value that breaks it into this area 20.1% to the right and 79.9% to the left. Find the z score satisfying the given condition. 74.9% of the total area is to the left of Z. And this is actually easier than the previous problem 
because it says to the left and the table gives you the left. So I want 74.9% of the area, which is 0 0.7490. I want that value of Z, the Z that produces that much area. Well, the table gives you to the left, so I don't have to do anything with it this time. I just simply need to go to the table and find the value of Z that corresponds close as possible to 0 .4, 0 .7490. So I'm looking through here in the body of the table, 0 .74, 0 .7486. There it is. That's the closest number in the table to what I'm looking for. And if you cross-reference it back over to the left, that is 0.6. So it's 0.6 and going up 0 0.67. 0 0.67. So Z equals 0.67. And again, just to, just to emphasize, emphasize what I did, my strategy, as before, was to find the Z value corresponding to the area, which is in the body of the table, And I want to find the Z value that's closest to this point 7490. So that's the strategy I used to get that value, 0 0.6700.